He is a Quebec hip-hop artist whose rap touches on subjects extremely close to our hearts. Our sports teams, for one, their big wins and heartbreaking losses. Anakin Slade's music is melodic and many say goes beyond simply one genre. His latest success, a moving tribute to the late Gary Carter. Welcome to our studios. Thank you for having me, Tom. So, Anakin, I hear that you were a huge fan of Gary Carter and that you used to watch him play when you were young. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much bigger. I mean, he was my childhood hero, simply put, uh, you know, from when I was a little boy, when I saw his first phase in the, in the early 80s, I had, uh, my mom had uh, seats that she used to work for Charles Bronfman, so she had great seats. So uh, when I was a little boy, I got to see Carter really close up. And then his second phase in 92, when I was an adolescent and still came over with me, you know? What was it like to write that song about him? Uh, extremely difficult, yeah. I mean, uh, writing the song is always, you're in a zone and then you go. Um, so I didn't have much time to think about it and get emotional, but actually when I was editing the video mm -hmm. and I heard the song after, I struggled it's through it. I, I, yeah, I cried a few times, and yeah. Anakin, your breakout hit feels like 93. That's where everybody sort of knew your name. What, as an artist, led you down this road writing music about sports? I think as an artist, you, you, you have no choice but to talk about what's dearest to your heart, you mm -hmm. know? And I, I suppose maybe on the surface, uh, it's the easy thing to talk about. I, I get up in the morning, I look at what the Habs are doing. I, I, you know, when the Expos were around, it was the same thing. So you, you talk about what you know, and that's where you start. Obviously, I talk about a bunch of other things that are close to my heart, too, but mm -hmm. people just seem to latch on to those because it's Max, easy to relate. Max Pacioretty and that hit, you certainly wrote a song about that, and that was what a lot of people were feeling at the time. Yeah, exactly. That's why, I mean, I didn't think I was going to do another Hab song because I was always afraid, you know, you can never talk the first mm -hmm. one, sophomore slump or whatever. Uh, but, I mean, it was just too appealing to have, to, uh, we all wanted to speak out against this, how Habs fans were getting really a bad rap. So I, excuse the pun, I came out and, and tried to, uh, to stand up for Habs fans in general. You're obviously a sports fan, but you're all also tackling other issues. You collaborated with the English Montreal School Board to talk about the pros of public schools. Why, why did you make the decision to go in that direction? Well, I, I was approached by them, and I was flattered to be because I, you know, when I first got into music, I, I was socially conscious that was my thing. Like, I was wanted to talk about political and social issues. Um, the, the Hab stuff was kind of a side note, so... Um, but people seem to gravitate, uh, don't want to hear that much about the, those issues. So when the school board approached me, I thought it was a good way to uh, deal with an issue that everybody cares about, obviously, our children. And uh, in Quebec, the idea of the English language, maintaining the English language is, is, a, is a big issue. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm an Anglo, so uh, I'm proud to be one, to be an English speaker. So it, it made sense to, for me to participate. Any topics on the horizon that are really big button subjects right now, perhaps bullying? Is that something you think about, what uh, to do next? Bullying has been an issue that I've been uh, toying mm -hmm. with, dealing with. Especially because you're a voice of the youth in many ways. Yeah, I think the, the youth want to hear what I have to say, and it's obviously a really pressing topic, so I have something in mind for that. But also, we are traveling up north to uh, Winaway, Quebec, a, uh, a native reserve, and we are going to uh, shoot a video there and dealing with some of the things like uh, Atawa Spikat and, and all the controversies there. So, um, yeah, I'm always looking for new things to talk about because that's why I got into this. We look forward to hearing your next endeavors. I hope, I hope people enjoy it. Thanks for coming in, Anakin. <laughs> Thank you, Anakin Slade, Quebec hip-hop artist. And up next...